Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to Mario's Minecraft Adventure. I am Mario Face, and hello to you all. So, today's episode is all about village life, and the reason why, as you can see around me, is I have found a, a village, and I was super, super happy to do it. So, after the last episode, we carried on searching for shipwrecks and buried treasure for a little bit more, and... I was coming up round the coast just over this side and I saw the backs of these houses come into render distance and I couldn't believe my luck so I came straight over here to have a look around and it's it's a really nice village uh, you, you'll probably see that it's, it's quite quiet at the moment with some random iron golems hiding away in holes now i have been here for a little bit of time and i have been busy doing some stuff and i thought i'd just show you around so you can see what i've been doing and what we've got so far because i have been getting myself set up so this this is this is the base of operations it, it is just a little camping area and as you can see i've, I've been collecting lots of uh, resources while i've been here and this is just where we've been hanging out and where we've been spending a bit of time. And you'll also notice I have made a start making some farms. We've got a pumpkin farm here. These are all pumpkins. And whenever they need collecting, I go around and collect them. And I have somewhere around here a, a farmer villager. And... Uh, and I've been trading with him just to level him up. Here we go. He uh, he accepts pumpkins, melons, and I can also buy golden carrots, which I have been doing. I've got a few of those. So we are looking good in terms of our food situation. Uh, another thing I've been doing are these trees here. I've been planting saplings all in a row, as you can see, and uh, I've just been harvesting these every now and again. Just, just to get some extra wood. Wood is really important. I've been uh, uh, turning the logs into charcoal, which I've been using to make torches, um, which again, very useful thing to have to keep mobs at bay. So uh, that's what we've been doing. I uh, managed to get some sugar cane here, and I've just planted a few bits. We'll wait for that to grow. I have also planted some crops over here just just general crops a little bit of everything looks like it's due harvesting actually and and this is going to be good for for some wheat and carrots beetroot potatoes in there somewhere as well as the potatoes this is going to be good um, just to harvest and use that to sell to the uh, the farmer villager or, or perhaps feed the villagers I've got here um, so one thing I've done is I've got all our villages uh, and a few workstations here. I've got all the villages kind of in this little enclosed area just to kind of keep them safe and out of the way and uh, try and keep them uh, all together in one location because I wanted to build this over here. Now this is probably one of the very first farms that I always, always build um, when I can in Minecraft this is a really simple basic early game iron farm uh, it's pretty straightforward you can see materials uh, a very early game wood and cobblestone and all we have in here are three villagers on three beds and they kind of run around because we have our friend here staring at them and I've got him trapped in a boat. I don't have any name tags, so I've had to trap him in a boat for now. And what that does is uh, it scares the villagers. And the villagers then... Villagers get scared and they then look for... Um, I think it's a, an 18 or so block radius for an iron golem. And if they can't find an iron golem within that radius, they will spawn one. And the only area the iron golem can spawn is up on that platform behind me so the iron golem will spawn there it'll go down the water streams and it will fall down that hole and down there we've got another water stream that leads into a lava blade here we go we've got one there and if we 
go down here we can see what's happening. So the iron golem falls down, goes into the water stream, goes into the lava blade where he will burn and he will drop his iron and his uh, his poppy the hoppers will pick it up and it'll go into these chests here as you can see it's it's a uh, it's a pretty effective pretty effective method of uh, of getting some iron um i mean this is this is what we've managed to collect i think i've taken a few stacks out of here as well i've got a stack in my inventory there and and i've been making some tools and of course some armor with it as well so it, it's a pretty pretty good farm it's it's not super efficient I'm not gonna get tens of thousands of iron per hour but to be honest just for me and for my personal use I really don't need that much iron at all so here we go uh, you might notice a few little craters around here well that's because I did have several encounters with creepers. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, I have died uh, a few times to creepers since I've been in the village. So this is the village. This is what we've got. I've also got a cleric uh, over there. I haven't bought anything off of this guy yet. He's uh, he's still still untouched. But this this is where we've been. I another thing I've done is. In this house over here, we'll just get into a sunset there. This house over here, I have got the makings of a mine. Uh, I I did it in a house that's kind of far away because I didn't want to uh, to uh, have it too close to where I've got everything else. I was able to go down here uh, without any problem. It, it's always <laughs> it's always a bit scary when we fall down like that into water but I knew the water was there so this is just a, a really simple little hollowed out area um, that I've made I did find some resources here a bit of copper some lapis some redstone and a few diamonds as well um, and this is just a, a prepared area for uh, for for our strip mining that we're going to do these are some of the cobblestone and things that we've, we've managed to pick up here um, so I'm going to do that. I, I might do that in another video, actually. Ooh, that was <laughs> that's a long way up. We have to find a, a bubble elevator or something uh, at some point just to make it a little bit more uh, quicker and, and, and uh, less less uh, less effort. Uh, so, yes, we've got six diamonds here and I've got plenty of sticks. So I wanted you to see us make the first diamond tool before I go ahead and start doing some more villager trading with the villagers we've got over in the little pen um, because I have enough villagers to be able to uh, get some diamond tools and diamond armor from them we just need to level them up a little bit so first diamond tool we're going to make a diamond pickaxe there we go and that's it our diamond pickaxe our first diamond tool I'm pretty excited to use that I'm definitely going to be going uh, below in into our strip mine uh, to be uh, to be using this and hopefully find more diamonds from it as well as lots and lots of other resources so this is this is what we're doing at the moment it's a little bit of a grind uh, at the moment while we gather lots of resources and get ourselves <laughs> pumpkins uh, popping up all over the place a little bit of a grind while we get ourselves set up and we make sure that we've got lots of resources to get us going and get us started so I'm gonna carry on here and I do have the beginnings of a plan for this village and for what I'm gonna do I'm gonna I'm, I'm probably not going to keep these buildings here um, I'm probably going to uh, to remove them eventually and set up our own buildings so if I go up high we can have a little bit of a, a, a bird's eye view almost of the village and I could just give you an idea or a taster of what the plan is for this so the idea is over here on this side this is where I'm going to build all my farms and I'm going to build uh, a fair few farms I always like to have a few automated farms here uh, we're going to start off with manual ones and we'll gradually automate them as more materials become available 
So over here is going to be our resource gathering, our farming section. This little middle section here, I'm going to build maybe some factories, some manufacturing. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll have some buildings here, perhaps some water uh, streams taking the resources into these. Now I have the experimental 1.21 pack enabled in this world, which means that we have auto crafters, um, which I've never used before and I'm looking forward to using. Um, so definitely going to build some factories where we can auto craft some some of these resources into more useful items. Then in this little section here, I will have uh, a villager trading uh, hall, which which I'll I'll set up. Um, I I might see if I can make it a little bit more free range than the usual trap them in a little two by one hole. Um, but over here we will do some sort of village trading hall and dormitories or sleeping area so that they can travel they can move around and they're not trapped in one location but we'll we'll figure that out as we go and then lastly probably over up in this area here I'm going to build my house my base this is where I'm going to kind of do some enchanting uh, I'll have a potion brewing set up because I, I do like to brew some potions as well and um, yeah, that that's what it's going to be. I, I'm going to kind of build it like a almost like a complex. Um, so it's going to be lots of smaller buildings that all kind of connect into each other through sort of tunnels and pathways and water streams, things like that, walkways. And I think I think it'll look quite cool. Um, I might I might put sort of a little wall around here. I might do some terraforming just to flatten the land out a little bit. That is what. I am looking to do in this village and with this village but it does mean that we're going to have to take down a lot of these houses and it does mean that we're going to have to move the villagers from where they are to a new location. I am going to do some more resource collecting, set up some more farms, they're going to be manual to start with and I'm definitely going to be putting this brand new diamond pickaxe to good use uh, and one more thing that we can do now that we've got a diamond pickaxe is we can get some obsidian so if I find a lava source and we know that we've got one down near a strip mine we can get some obsidian and then we can look at going out into the nether which is really going to help us uh, especially uh, with some automation of these farms that we want to do so lots and lots to do and we're starting to make really, really good progress. So we'll catch up again in the next episode where we will be doing some more Minecrafting. So until then guys, thanks for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye bye now.